hey hey everyone welcome back to another video hello everyone hello hello welcome back to another video to all of my new family members and new subscribers welcome everyone and to my tribe and family at large listen welcome back thank you all so much for coming back and watching another video y'all if you missed the live stream last night you missed a treat okay I told part one of my story last night and listen, we had a full house. We had some good conversation. That chat box was off the heezy. Okay, fo sheezy. It was off the heezy, y'all. And so if you didn't get a chance to look at that live stream last night, uh, I would encourage you to go back, catch the replay, and I pray that it blesses your soul. That's why I tell y'all, every Thursday night, y'all, we go live on the channel. Every Thursday night, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Can you say 5? 5, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We are live right here on the channel. I'd love to see you there. All right. We did the birthday song. I sang to all of our people that had March birthdays. You know it was jumping off. All right. Y'all listen. I'd love to see you there. Come on out. Invite about 15 people to come on out with you. Okay. Grab a snack. Jump in the chat. Come on back. All right, and um, of course, every time we drop a video on the channel, the goal of the day is 2.1K plus, 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 okay? If you rock switch, if you rock switch your girl, if you rock switch your girl, y'all, I'm a little raspy this morning, but if you rock switch your girl, y'all hit that like button for me, okay, family? Pay it forward, please. Can you pay it forward for the people that need this information, all right? Thank you so much for that. All right, y'all, let's jump into the topic of this video. Let's talk Talk about it. <clears throat> Won't talk about this narcissist. Um, how they um, they they actually are obsessed with, um, and they're desperate too. But they are desperate to remain connected to you. Okay, desperate to remain connected to you, and they do this in a lot of different ways. But they actually become obsessed with it. All right. And there's a few different reasons why. Um, because for one, you, uh, most of you, especially if you were grade A supply, grade A supply typically represented someone that had status, um, you know, could have been a trophy because um, they like that too. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, had resources. That's another reason. So, Basically, the narcissist knows in their heart of hearts, it doesn't matter what their uh, profession may be. It doesn't matter what they may do, um, you know, in the community. What matters is what's in a person's heart and who they think that they are. And so narcissists have, have very low self-esteem. They have very low self-esteem. They have no confidence. And so they like to... Uh, they like to choose targets that um, that appear to be lively and vibrant, you know, and all of this. They like to choose targets that are this way. But what they want to do with the targets is they want to actually bring the targets down to where they are, to their level. Now, why do they want to do this? They love to do this because they know that that is the only way that they're going to be able to hold on to the target, is that the target has to be brought down to the narcissist level so they can cut, uh, so they can control the the uh the target now this has got to be i mean you got to be the stupidest person you already know and i'm talking about the narcissist they already know who they are they already know what they represent why in the world would you want somebody to be like your crazy behind self you know i'm saying i'm just saying family i don't understand them it is just the, i mean but you know what when you are a person of wisdom and strength you can't understand crazy you just can't. There's no way. And that's why I tell y'all, stop trying to understand crazy and just get away from it. That's it. But y'all, family, y'all, make sure y'all hit that like button. But <clears throat> please. But 
excuse me, narcissists are desperately, they are obsessed with remaining connected to you. Why? Well, because narcissists understand what you represent. They understand what you bring to them. Now, the way that they do, one of the number one ways that they love to do this, uh, how they love to do this, is they want to have children with you because they know that you could leave the marriage. They know that you could divorce them. Um, they know all of this. Uh, they they like to have children with you and they'll tell you things like, oh, well, you know, I think it would be a great uh, idea for us to have children. And I'm going to tell you, narcissists are so desperate in this area to connect you with a child. A lot of them, especially the men, the females too. I mean, you are, you all of, you know, 55 or 60, uh, and <laughs> y'all listen, <laughs> you 55, 60 years old, this clown talking about, you know, let me not go that far. They might be 55, 60, the woman, the woman may be, you know, in her late forties or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I think it would be great to have a child. Are you high? You know, <laughs> but they, they will say stuff like this because they are desperate that they know that that right there is a connection that is at least in the in the best situation going to last at least 22 years you know what i'm saying out of high school get the child through college you got graduations you know different parties and celebrations you have to go to you, you know regarding the child yeah so they want to take you you know you 40 some years old you know, you good, you good. You you had your kids in your youth or you may have had them in late thirties, you know, mid thirties. They want to take you down that lane again. You must, you, you are higher than a giraffe's behind. Okay. <laughs> ah! Oh. Ah! Ah! oh, I got to get off of here. You know what I'm saying? But this is what they like to do, y'all. This is what they like to do. That's one of the ways that they, that out of desperation. And you know, some people actually uh, went for that. Some people have two sets of children because, you know, they got caught up with a narcissist. And I know y'all gonna testify in the comment section below, but y'all know how I do it, family. I'm gonna keep it all the way 100. Let me keep it 100. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and keep it a thou out. Okay, let me go on and keep it a thou. So, um, so that's one of the ways, you know, they like to remain connected to you. Now, the next thing is this is how they'll do they'll do one of these numbers too. Okay, they will uh go get a pet, okay, and or you have your own pet, or y'all have y'all get one together. Now, if you break up, they will make the biggest deal about this pet. Now they hate the pet. They never took care of the pet. You are always the one taking care of the pet, you know, taking them to the vet, you know, taking them to the groomers, doing all of that. But now all of a sudden when the discard happens, now they are the, they are super pet mom, super pet dad, you know, <laughs> all of this. I mean, they will use anything. They'll use anything. So that, and, and that right there is a huge thing. And you know what? In, in extreme cases, I've seen them actually go through the court systems about these pets. Okay. To make, to, to, uh, ensure that the, the pet remains in their care or, you know, or y'all have some type of legal paperwork regarding the pets. This is how desperate they are because they want to remain relevant in your lives because the narcissist knows that once you move on, they are literally going to have no relevance in your life. And you brought the life to the, you know, to their party, to their, their uh, pity party. You brought the life to it. Okay. So them being able to connect with you or have conversation with you about whatever is extremely important. And they don't want to lose that tie because when they lose that tie, they know that it's over for them. And they're going to after after uh, you're gone, they're going to have to actually find somebody else. You know, and, and the, the next person that they get, because it's so hard to find grade A supply or supply like yourself, they know that it's going to take a considerable amount of energy and effort to love bomb another person like you. And they really, when you're gone, they just don't have the energy to do it. They'll have to put on about 
two or three, you know, a secondary supply, a tertiary supply, and a whole bunch of other supplies that really don't amount to anything after you to get enough energy to be able to love bomb someone like you. This is why they are so desperate to hold on to you. You understand what I'm saying? And one of the main things that they will do, and this is an annoying thing, but I'm going to go ahead and let you know because I know you all have probably come in contact or y'all have probably seen this. Y'all family, pay this forward. Hit that like button. They will try to connect with your family on social media. When you are done with the, uh, when you're done with this bird, uh, they will go and uh, follow people from your family people that they don't even know the, your family members don't know them either i mean they have no clue who the, who your family is but they just they've seen them liking stuff on your photos or you know on your page and vice versa and you know they may have known that they were family too because of um you know y'all had conversation and they may have uh known of them but it is not uncommon for a narcissist to go follow your family members on social media after the discard because they want to remain. They always, they are just obsessed with you, obsessed with, you know, especially after you're gone, obsessed with knowing information about you, wanting to see what you're doing, what you're always up to. And this thing right here is demonic. And it all, and what it is, is that it is just a spirit that is monitoring you they become what we call monitoring spirits after you discard them this is why i tell y'all cut, cut complete yeah, listen cut all contact with them because they will monitor you and they'll go to your social media pages and y'all gotta understand words are very powerful these clowns they want to remain connected to you because they want to know your business they want to know what's happening with you they want to be that monitoring spirit so they can look at your look at your family look at uh uh, you know, have kids connected with you, you know, have pets connected with you so they can find out what's going on in your family. And so they can, they, and a lot of times because they hate you, when they see you rising and doing well, they start speaking, you know, negatively over your life, curses and everything. This is why I tell y'all, you got to find Jesus and get in, get, uh, get into your, your word, get into your prayer, become single and celibate for a while, you know, until God brings you your, your, kingdom spouse because these words that they that these clowns will speak over you are very powerful and a lot of narcissists are whether they know it or not okay whether they know it or not a lot of them are witches and warlocks why because they know the art of manipulation they are they know it and they know it like the back of their hands why because the demonic intel that they're working with and those demons that are occupying their soul realm why because that's what they allowed in. That's what that ego is. They're not connected to the true self. So they, they, they're they desperately obsessed with, with remaining connected to you because they want to watch you. You don't want that. These clowns, they had their chance. Once you find out what you're dealing with, cut all ties. All ties. You, if you got to change your whole social media, put your stuff on private, they don't need to know anything. And if you got children with them, then you have to really go low contact and you have to gray rock the mess out of them. No emotion. And you tell your children, you don't discuss what's going on in my house with your other parent. You have to let them know that. Because the narcissists always, they are busy bodies. They are, they are gossipers. They are liars. And most of all, more, more than anything, especially after the discard, they become what is known as a monitoring spirit. You understand that? A monitoring spirit monitors you to see your progress, to see what's happening. So they know how to speak over your life. And the devil is a liar. Okay, you cut out contact. I don't care how obsessed they are with desperately remaining connected to you. You cut that joker all the way off. 
You understand what I'm saying? You put your Facebook page, your uh, own private or whatever you got to do to keep them out of your business. Stay in right standing when it comes to the word of God and what God has to say about you. Because if you don't, then whatever they say, it can you become open prey to that thing. Because the Bible says that no curse can, ca can come causeless. Okay, so if you doing what you supposed to do, you fear the Lord and you got a reverence for him, you're living right. Can't no devil in hell touch you, no witch, no warlock, no sorcerer, none of that. As long as you are doing what you have, what you know to do. But these clowns, they want to watch you. They want to monitor you because it's a last ditch effort spiritually. Remember, y'all, this is spiritual warfare to remain connected to you so they can still manipulate you by the words. Ooh, I want y'all to hit that like button, please, by the words that they are speaking over your life. Family, please hear what I'm saying. Please hear what I'm saying. Don't let them remain connected to you. If you see them connected to your family or whatever, you may want to say something to the family and say, mm -mm, that ain't what you want or whatever. But I'm just, I want to put this information out here because I want to help you understand how desperate and how obsessed these, these people are, if that's what you want to call them. All right. Okay, family. So I think, listen, y'all pass this, share this video with some folks. Okay. And y'all don't forget to hit the like button, all right? I love you, family. Do something nice for yourselves, and I will see you all on the next video. And I will see you all healed and whole at the top. Shalom, family. Peace.